Naked Chicks 18 Plus. Some people hate me for making presets engine in Beta Flight Configurator. They're like, why presets have to be so complicated? The other people are like, Emu Flight had presets first. Of course, some are enjoying presets, but missing a few tricks. So it's going to be a little bit of drama. Some good tips for beginners. Well, hopefully good. Some fun, of course, insights and a lot of frequent questions answered. Let me know if you like this format. But first things first. Let me call to my tuning presets expert. Hey Neil, you home? We're here in the kitchen today to figure out the right way to cook up a good preset or, you know, get really deep into tuning. And the real key is, the real key is a tuning fork. I got one right back here, let me show you. This is the winner right here, the real tuning fork. So here's how you use this thing. You That's plug your quad in the beta flight. It's gotta be ready. something later on. Tuning fork. My God, listen to me. You must practice. That is it. You must practice. Do it. First, it's not a real trick, but I see a lot of people missing it, even in some good preset tutorials out there. So you're here on preset stop. Quit using these silly drop down menus. I know I made them here, but Please just don't use them, there is a better way. And quit scrolling through hundreds of presets trying to find what you need. Just use this search bar where you can type anything, just like you can type anything in Google search bar. Well, almost, but look how cool it works. For example, you can type uh, 5 inch race and there we go, all the 5 inch race presets. Or you can type ghost 250 and all our ceiling ghost presets right here. Or you can type cinewoo. Or you can type TBS uh, Unify and find all the VTX tables. You can type uh, 9 inch. You can type Minchen and find his rates. Everything right here through this search bar. If you're wondering why do I have these little stars here and you don't, this is what I've been working on for Configurator 10.9. You'll be able to add presets to your favorites and they will always show up at the top of the search. Anyways, just use this search bar. You can type anything. Naked Cheeks 18 Plus. Let's spice it up with a little bit of drama. First time I saw presets in FPV was about 2014, maybe 15, in OpenPilot and LibraPilot. And this is where I got my inspiration from. You can see they had a lot of different presets for different drones. For every preset they had a preset title, they had author. They had some parameters, they had comments, they even had a picture. So you can see a lot of similarities with the current Betaflight configurator presets. So there we go. Props to OpenPilot and LibraPilot. Of course, I was not the only one who worked on this system. Credits to Michael Keller who helped me with the initial brainstorming that formed the main ideas of the presets engine. Thanks to CTZ Snooze for detailed readme for preset authors and for weeks of helpful debates about every detail in the future implementation. And big thanks to all of you preset authors who submit presets to official Betaflight repository, because without you, presets engine is just empty and useless, like a drone racer without batteries. A special thanks to my wife, who helped me with the user interface advices. All right, let's go to questionly asked frequency. If you tried some tune preset or filter preset or RC link preset and you didn't like it and you just want to go back to defaults, very easy, right here you just type defaults. And there we go, all kind of defaults, tune plus filter, VTX settings defaults, RC link defaults, just click, pick and save and reboot. If you search for Limon rates, you will find my rates right here. Funny fact that I never open rates tab, I just fly default rates, always. It says I am the author of this preset, but let's see who actually added the file into the system. And there we go, it was our smart gentleman. Sugar K. So this preset will just set your rates to defaults, which is the same if you search for default rates. You tried a preset and you want to try another one. You don't have to reflash. If it's a rates preset or tune preset or filters or OSD or VTX tables or RC link, 
If it's pretty much anything except other preset, then you are good to go. Just apply the next preset you want to try. Let me quickly explain how it works. You see, every preset is categorized. Can be tune, can be RC link or whatever. Every preset only changes parameters and settings from its category. It's pretty clear, right? Your tune will not change rates and will not change your OSD settings. Filters category is a subcategory for tune, but unless you're a real nerd, you don't have to worry about that. Situation is a little bit different for other category. In this category, authors can change whatever they like, so you have to keep that in mind. For all other categories besides other category, for all normal categories besides other, this is how it works. For example, this is the code for Karate Race Tune preset. And at the very beginning, before it changes and sets all your filters and smart SPIDs, it sets your tune parameters to default and it sets your filters parameters to default. Another example, this is RC link preset for Express LRS 250Hz. And same thing here, at the very beginning it sets RC link parameters to default. As a user, you don't have to worry about that, it all works for you behind the scene, behind this presets interface in Betaflight Configurator. But I promised you some insights, so that was it. For your convenience, some presets might change parameters from different categories inside these options that you can choose or dismiss. For example, this is the Karate Race Success 5-inch tune, and the author of this tune decided to include for you some popular RC Link presets for racing. I use Ghost on my drones in solid 250Hz mode, so it's pretty convenient for me to choose this option and pick this preset instead of separately searching for RC Link preset Ghost 250, selecting Racing here and uh, picking this one. So just a few clicks less, but the result is the same. So you have to keep in mind, if you select some of the options inside of the tune category, but the option itself is not a tune, then it will be a carry-on, it will be a leftover if in future you decide to try your next preset. So just read and understand where you're clicking at. I guess it's pretty obvious. Just forget about CLI div all command. Just forget about it. This save backup button does exactly what you need. Once you click it, it opens CLI behind the scene. It types div all for you and then it asks you where you want to save your file. And once you select the folder, it saves your div all into a file. Same result as if you do it manually, just less clicks. Load Backup applies any CLI from the text file without you manually open CLI tab. Do you really need RC Link preset? Yes, you do. If you're running fast update rates RC Links, somewhere starting from 150 Hz, it is really recommended that you apply a correct RC Link preset. Because if you don't, your feed forward will be. If you can't find preset for your particular update rate, then you can apply a preset with update rate that is a little bit higher. For example, you're running Express LRS 200 Hz, and you see there is 150 Hz and 250 Hz. So in this case, you need to apply 250 Hz. You will have a little bit more latency, but your motors will still be smooth and feed forward will be Can you use different PID profiles and RAID profiles with presets? No. Short answer is no. Unless you're familiar with some of the legacy difficulties. For Betaflight 4.3 and all of the previous versions, the TPA, which is clearly a tuning parameter, but it actually belongs to RAID profiles for legacy reasons, don't ask. Now imagine you make your tune, which also adjusts your TPA parameter. And after that, you decide to play with your rate profiles. What's up, Derek? And as you can see, in rate profile number two, your TPA goes back to defaults. A wrong TPA value can cause all kind of different issues with your drone. Easy but manual fix. You just need to go through all rate profiles and change the TPA parameters to whatever you think is good, or to whatever matches with the tune preset parameter that you used. So the short answer I give is just don't use rate profiles and tune profiles. But if you absolutely need, just watch for TPA. Hold on, I'm watching MultiGP livestream. Championship. This is Minchin JBox. 
The big launch. I gotta watch and that. A ringer dinger there for but huge thanks to Mr. Mark in Betaflight 4.4, the TPA will belong to PID tune profile where it should be. So in Betaflight 4.4, you can safely use RAID profiles because there is no TPA here. TPA moved to PIDs. And it's not just a visual change, it's also a firmware change. So big thanks, Mr. Mark. One legacy problem is still there. These gyro filter settings doesn't belong to any profile, so you can switch this one as much as you want, these changes won't change, they're just standalone settings. So if you use different presets for different tune profiles, then your gyro filters will be at your last applied preset. Hopefully it's going to be changed in the future Betaflight versions. So if you applied some preset, you liked it, but then you forgot the name. Sorry, but Betaflight doesn't keep the history of presets you are using, not even the single one. The flight controller chip memory is too valuable to use it for that. But the configurator starting from 10.9 will remember all of the presets you used. It will mark them with these little stars automatically and will show these presets above any other presets in the search. Hope it will help you guys a little bit. There are experimental, community and official presets marked with red, yellow and green. All the preset authors are obligated to mark their new presets as experimental. After a little bit of positive feedback, the author can change his experimental preset to community. And then, if an author is highly trusted by Betaflight developers or if he is a Betaflight developer and his preset gets a lot of positive feedback, then the author can change his preset to official. Please keep in mind that if you use some other preset sources besides Betaflight, then in their preset source they can do whatever they want. They can mark all presets official, it doesn't mean they are Betaflight official because that's a separate preset source. To the multi-GP finish line, MCK did it again! MCK FPV. He did it again, look at that! 2022. He did it again! GP drone 2022 champion. champion. Good job, MCK! Most likely, community and official presets are good, even experimental presets, but don't blindly rely on that. Always remember about safety, do a little hover test, check your motor's temperature, you know. Could be that you have a noisy gyro or wobbly frame or bad motor, anything. view online button in the preset shows its actual preset code. So if you want to see what preset actually changes, that's what you should be looking at. Show CLI button shows all the CLI with syntax sugar expanded, and that includes everything. So if author includes defaults at the beginning, then right here at the beginning, it will be a bunch of default parameters. This CLI text also changes depending on which options you select here. So this CLI right here is mostly for presets, language, debug purposes and for real nerds because that's a long list and that what actually will be applied when you click pick and then save and reboot. What is backup preset source? If Betaflight website ever goes down and you can't access presets, then you can switch to this backup source, make it active and then use presets like you normally do. Don't forget to switch back to Betaflight official presets, because backup branch is not always up to date, even though I try to keep it up to date. Tips for the authors that share their preset repositories for other people to use. Instead of sharing the link and then the branch name, you can make it easier. Switch to the branch you want to share with other people, then open any file here, for example readme, and then click raw right here. And then just copy this link, excluding the file name. Configurator can eat this link like normal link, without any branches, just watch. Just paste it here, and click save, and make active, okay. And there we go, we are using your custom preset source. That is it for today, guys, but before I put some flying video, I haven't decided which video yet. I want to make sure that you guys put like and subscribe for safety reasons. Listen, this is what you're going to do next. You're going to like and you're going to subscribe. Do it! Also, I want to say huge thanks to my patrons. I have a whole bunch, five of them. You guys are awesome. I haven't met you in person, but come on, that's a fair assumption. I know I've been lazy, but all links are there as always. And see you in the next video, if I'm not lazy. Where's Piersik?
of it now, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah